Well, at the U.S. Airways Center, you know, sports and entertainment venues years are like dog years. Every year is equal to like seven years because of the beating we take. So we have some, some years we've had over 200 events, over 2 million people. So this is a great building. It's already 16 years old. It was 15 years old when I called Chris Kuzma and Hussey. And Hussey's always taking care of us and he came out and helped us define what needed to be done. I mean, there were some obvious things, but there's also some stuff behind the scenes. We have a great conversion crew. He came out and helped us define what needed to be done and saw it through from beginning to end, a very big project. And now we can have another 200 events and 2 million people through here. Change over time is critical. We used to be able to get out of here at 8 a.m., maybe 9 a.m. on a hockey to basketball conversion. It was going into 10 o'clock, 10.30. The Lakers want to get on and practice on the court. I said, well, forget them. I don't want to get into all the overtime. This big fix, this uh, repair of some of the stuff needed to be done was critical to us. Chris was able to help us on some other revenue producing ideas. We had an unused tunnel with some gaps in between seats together. Chris and I put our heads together and we added eight more seats down low for an NBA, that's a lot of money. The training was a big part of it. We've had guys that set the floor back when I played with the Suns, and that was in the 80s. We had a training uh, session a couple months ago, right towards the end of the regular NBA season, and we had all the guys there from the conversion crew. We also had some of the engineering department there. We see the difference in the leadership, Anthony and David and Robert, they go, thanks, things are going better. When the risers go in and out as they're supposed to and not over this way and someone go get a forklift and ram it over here, these guys are happy to get out of here. They really don't want the overtime because they know they have to be back the next night at 1030 to do another changeover. Chris has been full service. I've been able to call him in Maine. He calls me. We email back and forth. I said, keep copying Anthony Lee. He's the head of the setup crew. Direct it to him. Copy me. Also copy our director of engineering because we're all part of this enhancing the guest experience for our two million visitors a year. Give me a simple checklist, Chris. I'm gonna let Anthony and James refine it so that we don't get into one of these gigantic, let's spend six figures again. We're gonna have to always work with Hussey. They've worked with us on this building, on Chase Field, and uh, they've been important part partners of ours since the early 90s, and we're gonna re continue to rely on them as long as I'm in this business, that's for sure. If someone called me from another facility around the country, I'd say call Chris Kuzma at Hussey.